Welcome along to the All Guns Blazing podcast with my man DTA. How you doing? I'm all right. Be behaving yourself. You ain't been behaving yourself. You Not my fault. You haven't been behaving yourself. Not. Because you know what? I d you, you was there having a go at Claude. I Justified. No, I don't know, man. You yep. can't have a go at Claude, man. Yes, I can. He needs to stop acting you like a petulant little Claude. baby. That's what he needs to oh, do. Come on, man. Yeah, no, the man no. wants to sit there and try and call me a flip-flop, right? I tell you what, right? <laughs> I tell you what, right? Listen, I've got something for you, right? And I tell you, and the flip reason flop. why, the reason why, flip the reason why flip. I did this, yeah, flip. was so that you lot can actually see what this all actually started over. Now, all of this started over his interview last week. Now, let me explain something to you. When you do an interview on Arsenal Fan TV, mm. you're allowed to give your opinions on someone's opinion, discuss, debate, as long as it's respectful. You know, that's the idea. You put yourself out there. People may agree, people may disagree. So you have, um, you know, debates about it. You then put your segment out the day after, which where you split each person's interview and pick the best parts of it and pull it out. You put that out there, right? And I tweeted my reply to it, yeah? And I put, sorry, but I cannot agree with you on this, Claude. Aubameyang is not playing on Thursday. Lacazette will be, so giving him the penalty and the chance to lift his confidence was a brilliant move. The Europa League is our priority, so if that goal helps us in the long run, I'm all for it. Respectful, simply giving my opinion to that and, and to why I didn't agree with what he said. I watch all the interviews on Arsenal Fan TV, yeah, and because I know Claude... I said my piece, which was that I didn't agree with it. He came back with, all I say, turn the clock back, Henri is on a hat-trick and Reyes needs a goal. What do you think is the outcome? So I replied with, completely different circumstances, mate. You are entitled to your opinion, but my opinion is that on this occasion, you're completely wrong. Our season hinges on Thursday, giving Lacazette a lift before that comes before scoring a hat-trick. All right, so he then replies about that meant that mentality is the reason we're 33 points behind the league leaders. Players don't need to be molly coddled, um, etc., etc. So I turn around, and this is the last thing that I said, and I goes, "What on earth are you on about? Thursday has nothing to do with where we are in the league. Giving a team makes some confidence before the lead before he leads the line in an important game is not molly coddling." Yeah, what did he then do? Block me. <laughs> Block me. What for? Because I just voiced my opinion to him. Respectfully. He's nothing... allowed to block you, isn't he? Yep, there was nothing disrespectful about it. What he didn't like was the fact that 99% of the people that were also commenting agreed with what I had to say. And they didn't agree with what he said. And then he spent the whole day rowing with absolutely everyone, offering everyone out, come and meet me at games then, come and... And then I'm block sure it. you weren't offering people out. Go and have a look for yourself. Go and have a look for yourself. Not yeah? a fighter. Go and no, have a look. Not offering Go people and... out. He sat there. It's all there for you to see. Come and see me and say it to my face then. <laughs> so I sat there and he put a five pound bet on. So I gave the five pound back last night. You're moaning about five pounds. What pound was the five pound bet? He put a five pound on that Aubameyang would score a hat trick. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Well, obviously Aubameyang didn't. And he's oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot, yeah. So. There's yeah, your fiver. No, come on, and then, no, 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 because... But even that, that is disrespectful. No, it isn't. giving him a fiver. Take your fiver back, man. You want to moan because the team is more no, important. No, hold on, hold the on, fact, What's disrespectful is the fact, that, you. the fact that he's moaning more about that and actually saying the words, fuck the team spirit, fuck the team spirit, yeah? No, hold on. Sorry, no. Giving no. him a fiver back is disrespectful. No, it isn't. That is. Because he's because moaning nothing... so much yeah, about no... losing it... There you go, have it back. Yeah, got nothing it to do with you, though, has it? If I, lost win, fiver, it? if I lost a fiver, oh, well, we move on. He never asked you for it back, did he? It's no. got nothing to do with you. I gave it out of generosity. You moan about it. No, you it. didn't. No, because at the end of no, the day, you didn't. Claude <laughs> wants to moan about it so much, you can have it back. Then he wants to sit there and you come on his interview and call me a flip-flop. Listen to me. Let me explain something to you. A flip-flop... Right? It's not someone that used to adore a player, and then when they're sold to your rival, you sit there and criticise them and slag them off, yeah? Let me explain something, yeah? Claude is the one that used to call Olivier Giroud a lamppost, right? Yeah. And slag him off to the point that Olivier Giroud actually knew he was being called a lamppost. Then when he left, he started sulking that we'd sold him. 
he yes, he did. He'd even done a video saying he was upset about it. That's a flip flop. The guy spends all season criticizing a Wobi. The moment Kalechi introduces him to a Wobi's dad, he starts praising him after a 10 minute substitute appearance. That's a flip flop. The guy's got more flip flops than Baywatch cast. Now, close so, up. no. Claude, no, no, day, no, no. Claude can say exactly what Hold he on. needs to say. Hold I'm on. saying what I say. Claude is the biggest flip flop going. On. Oh, it's time to go. It's time to go. And, he and then in a couple the of no, a couple of weeks before that, he's sitting there doing a video going, oh, oh, Robbie, I don't know what it is, but this team, I swear, there's there, there's something happening within this team. They, I can feel it. No, there's something on, wait a minute, good no, happening. No, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm gonna so, so hold on, let yeah. me talk now. I'm gonna stop you there. I'm, I'm gonna be in defence of Claude, right? You can Claude, be in defence. Claude, Claude is not a flip flop. Yeah, That's he number is. one. He doesn't. He don't flip flop. That guy. The examples I on, just gave you is flip flopping. Wait a minute. He sticks. He says what he thinks and he sticks to it. He, he, he does not flip flop. Yes, he, he, does. he doesn't, right? Yes, it's he doesn't. Number two. If you cover, you gave me a fiver. I would be taking. I would take that. Like you're taking a mick. Well, you're coming to offer that. He, he, the thing that he was talking about with a five, it had nothing to do with you. He was talking about that he put a bet on and it didn't, you know, on a hat trick and it didn't come through and he was having a good... But what's that got to do with you? He never asked you for about it, did he? He's he moaned about you. it so much. Hold on, you He's came, moaned about it so you much, came yeah? with the fiver. Wait there, wait there. He's moaned with, about you knew it. You was doing wait, you come with that he's fiver. moaned about it so much. To the point that he has to he round with me. He to you, was he? He never mentioned in, the, in those tweets that you just showed. He never mentioned it in that. Because why? he didn't have to. Because the whole so video was about that. Come, oh, the no. video. Yeah, the reason that why he was angry. What's what, that the reason why he was angry was because he placed a bet and he'd lost his fiver. So well, there you go. There's your you. fiver back. No, and then he wants to sit knew. there. And then he wants to sit Hold there. On. Wait, no, no, no. He wants to sit there and make an indirect about. I'm not doing this for popularity. Blah blah blah. Yeah? Why'd you, know she's talking Why'd you about start you? a YouTube channel then, Claude? As he knows he's talking about you. Piss off, man. <laughs> Couldn't care. Right? You Couldn't fight, care five less. pounds coming without five pounds was a deliberate ploy. Good. Right? <laughs> All right you That's what he it. gets. All That's right, what so he gets. It. That's, That's cool. what he gets. That's cool. I don't need That's to go what Claude no gets, yeah? Claude's all right, man. That's what Claude, Claude gets for running it up. I love Claude. Simple as that. And he's got a right I, to... I if had, he wants to block you, I had, block you. I had a simple he discussion. Right I had a simple discussion. By the way, I do... By the way, I did agree with Claude. I, I agreed with you on that, actually, because I did say to Claude, I think... And we and I thought we saw that in the game against Moscow, that the confidence that Lacazette got from taking that penalty spilled over into the into the game because you saw a very confident player he stepped up for the penalty Moscow. laid it in and yeah. then you and look he, at he the, was, you the, know, the and goal and the I've first say, touch I've got first to say strike. what Aubameyang did has to be really applauded because yeah. that little selfless act that he did and, and, I, and, I, and I, I'm sorry I don't agree with Claude on this one even though I always love Claude but I don't agree with him on this one because to me team spirit does come first apart from not everything you can say, oh, the mental thing, the mental attitude is wrong because that person didn't go for a hat-trick. It's what I always used to moan, and even to people like you, and I used to moan to many other fans that we thing with Alexis. Alexis, when he was at Arsenal, brilliant player, world-class player, we loved him, but sometimes I felt that guy was being selfish. And I remember having an argument with you one time mm. after the game against um, Bournemouth. When he, at the end of that game, when it was a 3-3 draw, and he stormed off the pitch, he threw down his gloves and he just stormed off. When everybody else came over to clap the fans, after coming from 3-0 down, we know it was a you know, it was a desperate game and we wanted yeah. to win it and that. And I was like, that's selfish, man. You know what I mean? Why, why have you... Why is it... And everybody's like, no, but his attitude's a winning mentality. Yes, we know that. It is a winning mentality, but sometimes you've got to be together with the team. Mm. And I thought what Aubameyang done the other day was so... You know, he sacrificed a goal and getting a hat-trick, his first hat-trick in English football, for his teammate and said, yo, you know what? You ain't been playing for a while. You haven't scored. From here, take that. Yeah. And, and, get and he confident. knew that he was and playing on Thursday. And it worked wonders because yesterday, Lacazette was on fire. The mm. goal that he scored with his left foot... It was the touch. The touch out Brilliant of his touch. Feet. You know, that's the sharpness, feet. that's the player that we bought. Yeah. Now, and that's returned. Now, before that he was injured... One act, that one act by Aubameyang, I think, had so much to that's do That's what I mean, but the, 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 the second goal, a month ago... He would have snatched that. Or he would have tried taking another touch. 
Yeah. Because it was on his left foot, so he might have tried coming back yeah. on himself and trying to go to his right because he wasn't so comfortable. You know, and and uh, that's the thing. And it's, it's team spirit. It, like, I, I, like, like I, I, said, I yeah, like to see team like, spirit. Like I, I, think, I think that's, that's the most what, important thing. That's what wound me up because it's yeah. a simple fact. That it was yeah. fuck the team spirit and everything. No, because yeah. like it or not, yeah, my stance has not changed on the manager or anything else. But I'm not going to sit there like Victor fucking Meldrew and moan every single week for no apparent reason. It's a Enjoy it. As you said, he's in, got a, and because he's, at the end of the day, right? What did he I say? No, is, because what did he say last night? The European Losers Cup. Yeah, seriously, man, grow up, all right? Because it, we don't like being in the competition. We don't want to be here. And we know that it's going to only paper over cracks and stuff like that. But we need it to get into the Champions League. And at the moment, we don't know what's going on with Arsene Wenger. And if it means us getting into the Champions League, he leaves and another man takes over, then it's really important. So if Claude thinks that about this competition and he really doesn't give a shit and he's just going to go to the game and just moan about it and not put any effort to support the team in well, listen, and everything. Listen, then I'll tell you what, if we get to the final and we win that final, I don't want to see him doing an interview after singing and celebrating and dancing because well, you've just called it the no, European yeah. Losers' Cup. Yeah, but so don't like it one minute later. Nah, man. Nah, he knows what listen, he said. Listen, hold on. People have used videos of you. Where I said right, I don't. Hold, just, oh, hold on. Just, hold on. Just. I don't care about the FA Cup and then you're there celebrating at the end. So, hold you know, on. Is hold it, on. And, listen, rephrase. So, rephrase. Wait, wait, wait. No, no. <laughs> rephrase. Stop lying. Stop lying. Stop lying. Stop lying. Stop lying. What did I actually say? Right, I'm going to I'm tell. Every, right, wait there. I'm going to tell everyone to go to the interview because I know exactly what it was. Oh, yeah. Bayern Munich away when we lost five one. Yeah, go to the interview. Robbie sat there and asked me the question about everything, and I turned around and FA said Cup. about the FA, the FA Cup, Cup and everything. What did you say? I said very clearly, I don't just want to win the FA Cup. Very clearly, what else I, did you say? That was it. I, I said, what did they have I that said, meme, the meme that came that out. Was, that was it, because I turned around and said that we will win the FA Cup and some fans will be accepted of that, like it's, you know, mm -hmm. the be all and end all, and they'll go home and have a wank in and a then, sock about yeah, it. Yeah, and then what did those guys do? They then cut it together, made a meme with you then celebrating winning the FA Cup, which yeah. is nothing wrong with that, by the way. No, no, but, so what, hold I, on, hold but on. what I said, so hold on, what so did that's I what say? I'm just, but now I'm trying no, no, to say... No, but no, no, that's but it's completely the different. No, it isn't. Because I said... No, listen, I, uh, I never degraded the, the FA Cup. No, 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 no. I never degraded the FA Cup. I never said it was. I didn't want to win it. I turned around and said, I don't just want that. I clearly stated straight after that but, I want the Premiership. I want the Champions League as well. I don't just want but that. But do you understand what point I'm trying to make is that you can be frustrated about something that... You know, at that time, you just, you know, I mean, FA Cup, yeah, great, but really what you wanted to do was go and do something in the Champions League. So you, it's like Claude last night. It's not that he doesn't want us to win the Europa League, but he's he's frustrated that he's seen the Liverpool versus City game the night before. But we've before, had to deal with it all and season. And all the hype and that surrounding it and the way they played and the manner of which they played. And then he sees our game, he's like, but we've it's had not to the do... same. It's great performance by Arsenal, but it's not the same level. But we've had and to he's do frustrated. it all season. We've that's had what I'm to saying, but that's, that's out of frustration. That doesn't mean that he doesn't want to win the final it's of the Europa It's not like League. we started in the Champions League and then got demoted to the Europa because we finished third or fourth. And I've heard game. other people call it the Losers' Cup because there's teams like CSK in Moscow who can drop out... You know, and I agree. I, I I don't I don't support that. Where people are going to mm. be re rewarded for failure, basically. Mm. Where you drop out of one competition into another, I think that's wrong. Mm. But we're the ones that right? have been there from the beginning. Yeah, you look at it. Um, Atletico Madrid. They they got a chance now winning that. They got they got knocked out. They come yeah. third in their group. That's a completely people different that. subject. That's a completely different subject. I think that's it was something it, that UEFA have to deal with. RB well. Leipzig, same thing. Yeah, was um, it Lazio? We're, we're the, no, Lazio were in it from the beginning. Yeah, right? and we're we're in it from the well, beginning. How's that? How's that right? What he's no, right? He's right to he's right to say in the, in the, in the ask me, if they if if any of them what I'd rephrase him to say if any of them win it it's the losers' cup. Mm. But what are they doing in it? Take it up with UEFA. Everyone's moaned about this for years. I've moaned about it. It's, it's not ridiculous. Right. So you, if that's, you go out, you should That's go out. why he said losers' cup because that's why he's saying that because you know basically he's saying no. He said it because we're losers. That's what he's saying. Oh, well, that's what he's saying. He's not At the end of the day, himself. I very, I very clearly said last night in my interview as well. I said that winning the Europa Claude, League is just right, going to be a get out of jail card, and that's all it is. It was a get out of jail card when for Manchester United last year. Shake his hand. No, when I see him next time, I'll give him a fiver again.
You know you're not. You're going to shake his hand and say... No, I'm going to give him a five. Claude, up. misunderstanding, mate. No. What's the matter with you, man? I'll be in hospital. Life's too short. That, oh, you see? Life's short. No, I'm You I'm, see why, you know what I mean? I've got other things to worry about. Exactly. I've got other things to worry about. Then exactly. he's going around calling me a flip-flop. Like I told you, he's a bigger <laughs> flip-flop than Baywatch. So... <laughs> let's get into some football, man. Football, 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 football. Yeah, man, let's talk football. Let's oh. Oh, man. It was a great performance. 